Well, let's welcome back LaVonda Brown, Executive Director of the YWCA of Greater Charleston. Our last guest, Herb Frazier, sang the praises of the YWCA and the work being done in honor of Dr. King's mission and vision. Nice. Um, so if you can tell us what this year's theme is. This year's theme is do the work. It's a simple <laughs> sentence, but it means a lot. And what we're really asking is a call to action for those, for those of us who are doing the work to continue to do the work. Mm -hmm. and for those who are just coming to the table, we want people to really put into action all of those things that Dr. King preached about, lived for and died for, and that's creating equitable systems so that no one's left behind. So what does that mean, doing the work? Are we talking socially, personally, all of the above? It's really all of the above. It's talking to your neighbors. It's, it's you know, creating um, systems, looking at what your corporate structure may look like and whether you're an inclusive, you know, and welcoming environment where people feel that they belong. And, you know, even all the way up to our laws and our practices. So it's, it's, it really doesn't leave anyone out. Yeah, and the YWCA does it in, in beautiful fashion and great Thank style, you. celebrating the life of Dr. Martin, Martin Luther King. But once all those events that have just happened are passed, yes. and, and today we, we mm -hmm. cap it off with the parade, the work really continues. continues. And that's what we wanted this theme to really focus on that we want, yes, we want the events to have empowered and ignited something in people and really um, motivated them for the day, mm -hmm. But we want them to take that motivation throughout the year and really integrate it into their lives. And how, how can we do that? How do, yeah. we, how do we integrate it into our lives? How do we stay conscious of it and turn it into that subconscious muscle memory? Thing? Yeah, it is definitely, as you said, it is like muscle memory. We have to practice it. It's not just going to happen. We all have preferences, biases. We all have things that just appeal to us differently or things that may challenge our value system. But so we have to be conscious of it. And a lot of that comes from educating yourself yeah. and educating your friends and your neighbors. So when you hear people saying things that aren't, um, I won't even use the word politically correct, but just aren't the right things to say about it and putting a particular group in a category. Mm -hmm. We want people to address that, but we want you to have the education. So yeah. we do some training programs so that people understand how to recognize those things, but also how to look at your system mm -hmm. and make some changes there yeah. as well. And, and you do some great work for people who want to build themselves up, who want yeah. to improve their station in life, mm -hmm. and among those programs, the We360. Yes. And you done that how many years now? You know, we actually started in February of 2020. Yes. And we are now on cohort number 11. That's incredible. <laughs> it is, especially given what the the 18 or 24 months have looked like since yeah. we started the program. But when I tell you that women are dedicated and committed to starting their businesses or expanding their business, yeah. we have seen such a growth. And so, yes, we're st we still have room in our February cohort mm -hmm. for people to register. We'll do um, three or four cohorts this year. Mm -hmm. So even if February fills, ywcagc.org, they can find a way to get into one of the future classes. I love that, because you're also giving women the foundation and the building blocks to start their own corporate culture. Their own corporate culture and generational wealth for yeah. their, you know, we've seen that, you know, that it's, it's real estate and it's business. That's how people are going to be able to have something to pass on to their families. And let's talk and about some of those graduates. I yes. mean, people who've gone on to open up their own businesses. Their own businesses, their, their you know, brick and mortar businesses, yes. online businesses, beauty and fashion. So there are a lot of, I mean, accounting, there is literally yeah. no shortage of types of businesses. And, and some of the women have been in business before, but they hadn't formalized it. Mm -hmm. And some have like a great hobby and they're like, I think I could do this as a business. Business, right. And they're doing it. And they're doing it. And, and they're doing it. And with the help, though, of people who have kind of been there, done that. Yes. So with the support of people who come with the tools, Absolutely. the understanding, the experience. Yes. That then bestow it upon those exactly. who attend. Yes. And besides the We360, you also have coding. We also have coding for girls. For girls. So it's Why Girls Code. Um, and we're in a couple of schools and libraries, so they can find that on our website as well. We um, will launch those classes, those clubs, but we are looking for new clubs too. Oh. So if there is a, a school or a library or even a church that has the right infrastructure, and that really just means they have a computer lab, yeah. <laughs> then yeah. we can come in and, um, and with their help, so <laughs> everyone should, yes, be hard to find. should not be hard to find. <laughs> so yes, we will go where the youth are. Yes. So they don't have to come to us if, we, if there's a local 
location and there are girls that want to learn how to code from third grade all the way up to high school, we're, we're open. That's great. Yeah. LaVonna, it is always such a joy thank to talk you. to you and your tireless work in the community. <laughs> we so thank much. you so much. Thank you. We're back after this.